video where I'm specifically addressing you as an audience. Should anybody be watching this? Um, I've really been into building camps. I've actually built quite a few camps, but I have not made videos of them or taken very many pictures of them. And I kind of regret that because I've had some pretty cool stuff and now it's gone. I can't, I mean, I could try to recreate it, but it'd be rough or tough, whatever. Anyways, uh, trying to build a, house, a camp in a tree and this was my first tree house attempt. You can see I'm just south of Vault 76 here. Right next to Relay Tower EMB127. And this is what it looks like. I'm at my max build budget. And that's because I actually was able to get really high in the tree with my jetpack and place the camp. So that way I could build way high. I'm all as far down as you can go and I'm also as far up as you can go which I believe is eight stories total and uh, I'm not happy with this product but I wanted to make this video so that I have the evidence to show sorry about that I've got some underly neighbors anyways I'm just going to walk us through it and take a tour and then I'm gonna look for somewhere else to build because I did not accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish with this camp build so we'll come on down here first of all I built this foundation around the bottom of the tree just to kind of give the entire camp a little bit of security protection because down here as you'll see in the bottom I have the store and down in here I got a couple of water purifiers I actually need to collect for those of you that haven't bought these they're teeny tiny but they st and they produce two just like the the other ones that sit on the ground but they take up a lot less space so you can place many more than just a couple Anyway, uh, vendors aren't even stocked. I just put them here. I was well. I planned on stocking them if I could have got the camp the way I wanted it, but that's not the case. So over here, I got the entrance to my bunker, which is just here. I haven't done anything inside my settlement or not settlement. What I call it, settlement, the bunker. Excuse me. I'm doing this live stream. No editing. Uh, just what you get. What you see is what you get. So. I'm going to fumble through some words and probably make mistakes, but that's how it goes. So anyways, uh, my main goal was to get as high in the tree as possible so that I could avoid too many branches being in my way and also get a great view. But as I found out, it's very hard to build in the tree. You have certain branches you can build through and other branches you cannot so I have this platform here this is just most of these platforms were just getting up high that's all they were and then I kind of came back down and added things to them after the fact but um, once you get up about here if you fall out you uh, cripple yourself so I put up <clears throat> the bars to hopefully stop people from falling off Got the Tinker's Bench and some stash boxes here. In here is my generator. All locked up. It's secure. The next level, come up here. Some more stash boxes. Your weapons bench and your armor bench. Then the next level. It's just a, a landing. I did put the missile turret in here because it seems that when the enemies actually spawn at my camp they spawn right here in this corner so this makes quick work of them now I head up here to the main main floors 
This right here is my kitchen slash bathroom. Got my ally over here cooking some food. As you can see, got a pretty good view already. The bathroom is always uh, utilitarian. You can take either shower to cure yourself from rads or any diseases you might have picked up while you're out running on the waste. My big vent fan there. Wish it would spin a little faster. That'd be cool. So that's the bathroom. Kind of cramped. I, I actually started with a lot larger spaces and then had to shrink them down a bit because of build budget. And I would think by now, being level 280 something, I would have a bigger budget, but it doesn't seem like I do. This right here is uh, another landing. It's got your uh, ammo converter, and data center, kind of like the, the guts of the build, I guess. I like to have it here. kind of makes you feel like you're keeping track of everything. Got the ammo construction appliance. And then we reach the very top floor here, which is the rooftop garden area. Got the turbo furt. See, one of my goal was to have a full garden with all the vegetables and uh, the fertilizer producers, the Brahmin and the chickens. But like I said, I've run out of budget. But I'm very high up here now. <laughs> you can see, you look across. You can see the lighthouse right there. I'm almost as high as that lookout tower. You can see top of the world in the distance up over there. You can see that. I think that, let's see, is that the big excavator? Which way am I looking? Yeah, right here, Mount Blair. You can see Mount Blair from here. <laughs> That's how high up I am. And over this direction, I, I believe, there was something in the distance. It's kind of dark right now, but when it clears up, the view is beautiful. And then you go down from. Oh, let's see. Oh, something's wrong with my door. Whoa. Okay, I bypassed the switch. It's just stuck in the on position. Anyways, this is a roll-up door. This is a little dangerous, I get it, but check out the view. I mean, not only, I mean, this is picturesque, right? And it's open air. You can just, uh, on a bright sunny day, just roll up the door, roll up the wall, basically, and just enjoy the breeze and the view from your living room. Got my flat screen TV, my fireplace, all the creature comforts. Back over here is uh, my office. Oh, I forgot to put the chair down. That's what I mean, stupid things like that that I can't finish because of the budget. I don't get to decorate as intricately as I'd like. And that's why I'm probably I'm moving. After I get done with this, I'm gonna move. Actually, it's a double XP weekend right now, so I'm gonna go uh, try to level up to 300 this, and then I'm gonna go rebuild but uh, oh, don't have any electricity for the planetarium either so it's just a small little sleeping area kind of decorated that first that's why it's more intricate than everything else and this is it it's pretty simple my main goal is to have a camp that has everything as far as crafting goes in built in so it's all self-sufficient you can come to my camp you can get turbo for it you can collect any one of the vegetables that you need to use for any recipe you need to use it for even uh, shortening so you can make adhesive um, fertilizer I want you to be able to get ammunition stuff and that's another thing I wasn't even able to build like a gym 
So there's no workout gear here. So that's my goal. My next camp is going to be hopefully stocked full of everything that you can possibly use in a camp to make your gaming experience better and get the most out of your XP or most experience you, as you can while you're when you take a picture. my view. Oh, look at that. That was one of my dailies. Didn't realize that. Alright, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to try and make more videos. So, if you like Fallout 76 and can uh, withstand the sound of my voice, go ahead and subscribe and give me a like if you like the video. And any comments are appreciated. Thanks.